بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله عليم الخبير المتقن نظام العالم بلا معين ونصير فسبحان الله الذي حكمته بالغة وعلمه غزير ونعمه واصلة إلى كل صغير وكبير ونشهد لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له في نقير ولا قطمير ونشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله الذي هدانا بكتاب منير ودعانا إلى الله بالإنذار والتبشير صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه ما دامت الكواكب تسير أما بعد فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في محكم تنزيله بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة وقال تعالى قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم عن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الصلوات الخمس والجمعة إلى الجمعة ورمضان إلى رمضان مكفرات لما بينهن إذا اجتنبت الكبائر رواه مسلم أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام Respected علماء Respected brothers, sisters and elders As we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have created insan After Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creating you and I Guidance of you and I was needed Thus Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created and sent down anbiya And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you and I for a reason For a purpose What was the reason of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creating you and I? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I did not create jinnaz. I did not create insan. I did not create human beings. Besides that they worship me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, not only on the day of Jum'ah you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Till when? وَعَبُدَ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينِ And worship your Rabb until yaqini thing that which we have conviction of comes to you. Ulama explains حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْمَوْتِ Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until death comes to you. And Hadrat Isa alayhi salam says وَأَوْصَانِي بِالصَّلَاةِ وَالزَّكَاءِ مَا دُمْتُ حَيَّا My Rabb Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have instructed me He's speaking in the cradle, Phil Mahdi, while he was still young baby, he's speaking, my Rabb have commanded me, have instructed me that I worship him as long as I remain alive. Thus Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down his anbiya to come teach us how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent other to Adam, other Sheath, other to Idris, other to Nuh, other to Saleh, other to Hud. Hadrat Lut, Hadrat Ibrahim, Hadrat Musa, so many anbiya, Nabi after Nabi, until that time was of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he did this practical. Himself performed salah. He did not say perform salah and himself relaxing. No, he performed salah. Where is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was told, that you can do whatever you feel like doing. We have forgiven your past and your future sins if you had to commit. Whereas we know Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was ma'asum. But he performed salah. Until Hadrat Aisha radiallahu anha says to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Oh my beloved, why are you killing yourself? Whereas Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven your past and your future sins if you had to commit. Rasulullah s.a.w. says, Afala akunu abdan shakura, should I not be grateful servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Imagine, that being who was forgiven, his past and future sins if he had to commit, everything was forgiven, but still he worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sahaba ridwanullahi ta'ala alayhim ajma'een, by teaching those who came after them, yani tabi'een, they performed salah, they did it practical. They performed salah. Despite they were told, Antum tulaqa, you are free, you can do whatever you feel like doing. Radiyallahu anhum wa radu anhum. Sahaba, those ashara mubashara, those were given great tidings of Jannah. 
those Sahaba of Badr, you can do whatever you may feel like doing. Why? Because I have forgiven your sins. Hadrat Uthman radiallahu anhu, when he spent his world in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rasulullah sallam says, no son of Hadrat Uthman radiallahu anhu is going to harm him after this day. To show that you can do whatever you feel like doing, Allah has forgiven your sins, your past and your future sins. But Sahaba Ridwanullah ta'ala alayhim ajma'in, they did not leave out any salah. Despite being forgiven of their sins. Unfortunately, respected ones, we are in such a time, such a zamana, where we get time for everything else and not time for ibadah, not time for worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Where is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Hadith Qudus? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa mentions, An Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala an qal, qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, inna Allah yaqul, ibn Adam, تفرغ لعبادتي أملا أصدرك غنى وأصد فقرك وإن لا تفعل ملأت يدك شغلا ولم أصد فقرك رواه أحمد وابن ماجة أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام إن حديث قدس الله سبحانه وتعالى says or the son of Adam get time for my ibada wait get time to worship me why? Amla usaddaraka ghina. I will make you rich. You want to become rich? Worship me. Wa asudda faqaraka. I will remove and repel away from you poverty. You will prosper in life. However, if you do not do this, if you do not get time to come to the masjid, malaatu yada kashugula. I will keep you busy. You'll be working all day. You'll not even have time for your wife, your kids. You will not have time to have lunch, supper with your family. I will keep you busy, running up and down. Walam asudda faqaraka, and you will remain poor. Hadith Qudus from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have spoken the truth. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have spoken the truth. How many of us here? How many of us here we come to the masjid? We do not come to the masjid. The reason being, no, I am busy. When brothers come to remind us, let us go masjid, we say, no, I'm busy in my shop. No, I'm busy in my job, my business. In so many years we've been working. Nothing is changing. Why? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised you and I, we don't get time for Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not remove poverty from you. You want to become rich. You do not want to come to the masjid. Where is in Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who are razzaq, is the one who gives the rizq. Dhul quwwatil matin. Only Allah. And you don't want to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? I am busy. I have no time. Respected ones, five times daily salah, we add it up only 30 minutes. Out of 24 hours, we do not want to get 30 minutes to have this time for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is it fair? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not asking out of 24 hours, 24-7, get 23 times for my worship. No. Only 30 minutes a day. And we know very well, salah is greatest form of worship. That hadith, every one of us here, I think we know it, if not majority. Bunya al-Islam ala khams shahada an la ilaha illa Allah wa iqami salah wa ita'i zaka wa somi ramadhan wa hajjil bayt in istata'i ilayhi sabila that Bunya al-Islam what comes after shahada after believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his rasul is salah this shows us how great it is to perform salah my respected ustad he mentioned he explained he said from this hadith and from other hadith, we come to know that salah is a great form of worship. Why in other hadith we hear so, uh, angels, alayhim salam, the angels are performing salah. Why? We hear in other hadith, we see some are in qiyam, some are in ruku, some are in sajda. This shows how great salah is. And he goes saying, if there was another ibadat 
which is greater than Salah, they would have been involved in that kind of worship, in that kind of ibadah. But they are performing Salah. And we know very well, we have problems, all of us, we have problems in life. أَقْرَبُ مَا يَكُونُ الْعَبْدِ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِ وَهُوَ سَاجِدِ The time you are more close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the time you are in sajida. You have problems in your business. You have problems in your job. You are having problems in your shop. Make sajida before Allah. Problems in your marriage. Make sajida before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, together with all this, we are negligent and oblivious regarding the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We do not want to get time, slight time for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Rasulullah sallallahu giving warning an Jabir radiyallahu anhu. Qal, qal Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Bayna al-abdi wa bayna al-kufr tarku salah Between the slave between you and I and kufr disbelief is leaving out salah. This shows how great, how grave it is to leave out salah. By you and I leaving out salah, this may lead us to kufr. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. And the ulama explains how severe, how great it is also. Liman la yusalli or the person who do not perform salah, i'lam no very well inna adhabaka ashad min adhab iblis your punishment will be severe than punishment of iblis why lianna iblis rafadha an yasjuda li adam because iblis refused and rejected to make sajda before other adam he had pride to make sajda before other adam wa anna ka tarfud an tasjuda lillah and you having pride you having pride and you rejecting to make sajda before Allah. That is why you will get severe punishment, the death of Iblis. And the respected ones, how many generations and nations did Iblis lead astray? Lots. Now we get punishment worse than Iblis. So many punishments, so many hadith indicating and being narrated regarding punishments of those people who do not perform salah. One incident, recent incident, we don't want to say of later generations what happened in our time. My respected Ustaz mentions in his kitab, Presence of Paradise, he quotes it from Kisos Abkatini, kitab called Kisos Abkatini. One Jamaat, they're saying we were going Jordan for Dawah. So we were in the masjid, one masjid talking with students, few students and their Ustaz. Suddenly one man came running into the masjid. Where is Sheikh? Where is Imam? They indicate to the Imam. They say, one youngster have passed on. One youngster have passed on. He met up in an accident. Now we tried to dig up the grave. We found huge snake inside the grave. Imam says, okay, let us go. He goes there, he finds the snake there. They say, okay, let us dig up another grave. Far from there. They found the snake inside it also. Same snake. Now they were perplexed, they were astonished, they didn't know what is happening. Imam said, we can dig up so many graves now, nothing will change, we will find snake there also. So now what must we do? Let us try to attack and chase this snake. Snake refused. Snake became more angry, corpse and everyone came now. It was a major thing now. So Imam said, let us just bury the boy, nothing we can do. They buried the boy. The man narrating the story, he says, we saw the snake jumping, running, going deep into the grave, attacking, and it coined itself uh, 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 against this youngster. Now, they filled up the grave. This man narrating, he says, we could hear cracking of his bones inside this grave. His punishment, he saw it and witnessed it. He experienced it in this dunya. Even people saw his punishment. Imagine what was waiting for him in the grave. What is waiting for him in Akhira on the day of Qiyamah? No friends to protect him. Even cops were there. No one to protect him. His family, his boss, the one we say, I'm not coming to the masjid because of my boss. I'm scared of my boss. Your boss is Allah. 
The one who provides for your boss is Allah. No one to protect him. No one to save him. Punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there. I'ilamu know very well anna al-umma if everyone gets together. Anna al-umma idha jtama'at ay yanfa'uka bi shayi to come help you regarding something. Lam yanfa'uka they will not be able to help you. This man lying down helpless, no one to help him. So my respected brothers, sisters, there is no enjoyment in playing in doing haram, in not coming to the masjid, in your shop, if you do not come masjid, five times daily salah in your job, there is nothing good in that. Rasulullah Sassam says, Qurratu aini fi salah, I find contentment and solace of my heart in salah. Ala bi dhikirillahi tatma'innul qulub, by worshipping and making dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there is where the hearts find contentment. Not in haram relations, not in zina, fornication, and different kinds of play and so many things like that. No, but in worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not in your business if you do not worship Allah. We are busy chasing dunya. Where is dunya? Don't even like us. Dunya will kick us out. Hadr Ali radiallahu anhu makes mention in his poem. إنما الدنيا فنا ليس للدنيا ثبوت إنما الدنيا كبيت نسجته عن كبوت دنيا is nothing دنيا is come to an end why referring to that eye of Allah سبحانه وتعالى كل من عليها فان كل شيء هالك إلا وجه everything will come to an end besides the being of Allah besides if you worship Allah سبحانه وتعالى you will enjoy وَلَقَدْ يَكْفِيكَ أَيُّهَا الطَّالِبِ قُودِ What is enough for you? Fiha in this dunya is that which is sufficient for you and your family. Why chasing dunya? For what? Hadrat Ali رضي الله عنه in other poem very beautifully he says سَلِي الْأَيَّامَ عَنْ أُمَمٍ تَقَضَّتْ سَتُخْبِرُكَ الْمَعَالِمُ وَالرُّسُومُ دَرُومُ الْخُلْدِ فِي دَارِ الْمَنَايَا فَكَمْ قَدْ رَامَ مِثْلُ كَمَا تَرُومُ تَنَامُ وَلَمْ تَنَمُ عَنْكَ الْمَنَايَا تَنَبَّهْ لِلْمَنِيَّةِ يَا نَأُومُ لَهَوْتَ عَنِ الْفَنَا وَأَنْتَ تَفْنَا فَمَا شَيْءٌ مِّنَ فإن بناها بخير طاب مسكنها وإن بناها بشر خاب بانيها أين الملوك التي كانت مسلطنة حتى سقاها بكأس الموت ساقيها أموالنا لذوي الميراث نجمعها ودورنا لخراب الدهر نبنيها كم من مداء في الآفاق قد بنيت أمست خرابا ودان الموت بانيها لكل نفس وإن كانت على وجل من المنية آمال تقويها فالمرء يبسطها والدهر يقبضها والنفس تنشرها والموت يطويها That ask days regarding those nations regarding Aad, where are they? ستخبرك المعالم والرسوم Their houses will inform you what was their condition كانوا ينحتون من الجبال بيوتا They would make the houses, they would carve them with their hands from the mountains where are they are gone? You want to remain forever in chasing this dunya? Where are those people who are chasing this dunya? Where are they now? You hoping to remain forever in the house of dead? Where is the owner who built that house? Where is he? He's gone. When nafsu tabuki ala dunya wa qad alimat life. In person, he want to remain in this world in life. Where is he knows he will die? Why can't we, like those intelligent slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, where Imam Shafi'i rahmahullah alayhi says very beautifully regarding them, Inna lillahi ibadan futwana, tuallaku dunya wa khafu alfitana, nazaru fiha falamma alimu, annaha laysat lihayin watana, ja'aluha lujja, wa attakhadu saliha al-a'mali fiha sufuna. Indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have intelligent slaves of his. Why they are so intelligent? They divorce this world. They don't chase dunya. Because they know even they chase dunya, dunya don't want them. They will have to leave this dunya one day. 
they worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wakhaful fitna, they fear fitna of women. They fear fitna of zina. They fear fitna what is around them. For example, LGBTQ, all these things. They don't want to get involved. نظروا فيها فلما علموا أنها ليست لحي وطنا. They look deep into it and they came to know that dunya is not our place. جعلوها لجا. They turned it into the ocean. واتخذوا صالح الأعمال فيها سفنا. They do good so that they enjoy life afterwards. They enjoy in the grave, in محشر, in جنة. Respected ones. Again, Imam Ali. Another poem he says. تؤمل في الدنيا طويلا ولا تدري إذا جن ليل هل تعيش إلى الفجر فكم من صحيح مات من غير إلا وكم من عليل عاش دهرا إلى دهر وكم من فتى يمسي ويصبح آمنا وقد نسجد أكفانه وهو لا يدري You desire to remain forever Where you know very well if night comes are you for sure you going to reach tomorrow how many healthy people you say no i'm still all right i'm still 40s i'm 20. how many healthy people have passed on without any sickness how many sickly people those old people you say this one tomorrow he might die man he's finished they live for so long welcome in fata youngsters they're playing games they're doing haram music different kind of play Little do they know they playing, they're walking around, roaming around the streets. Little do they know their coffin is already being prepared, is in the marketplace being sold. Aina al Muluku Lati Kanat Musaltana. Where are those kings who are once called kings? Where is Firaun? Namrud, Haman, Karun, where are they? Very beautifully in Qasas and Nabiyin they said, Mata Maliku Misir, Baidan an Arushi, Baidan an Qasri, Baidan an Sultani, La Tabibun Yudawihi, Wala Sadiqun Yuasihi, Wala Ainun Tabukiri. Here's the king of Misr dies. Far away from his throne, his boss is rich, nice house, he's working to get nice house. King of Misri, he died far away from his house, far away from his kingdom. La tabibun yudawihi, no doctor to treat him, wala sadiqun yuasihi, no friend to console him, wala aynun tabukihi. There was no one to cry for him either. Amwaluna alitha wil mihrati najmauha, our wealth we just gather it for other people to eat, not us. Those who will inherit after us. So many stories. But because of time, we will not mention them. So many stories regarding this. People have built nice, nice houses. This incident comes from Pakistan. One man who was in Dubai working for 30, 40 years. He built nice place, nice flats, everything. He wanted to retire after 30, 40 years to come relax and eat his money. Three days prior to his coming, earthquake hits Pakistan. Everything on the ground, gone. He was crying like small baby. He was crying, imagine I wasted 30, 40 years of my life not worshipping Allah, chasing dunya, gone. He never even eat his wealth. Jama'u walam ya'akulu, wabanau walam yarkudu. He built, he did not sleep in his house. So respected ones, this time is just mata. It's just, this dunya is to waste time. That's it. Let us, we can get whatever we need in this dunya. But together with that, do not forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's Allah who provides. We might be saying, how can I come masjid five times daily salah? I stay far. If far, if you don't want to come to the masjid, perform salah in your house. Inshallah, Allah will, will accept your salah. If you're scared because of crooks, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rasulullah sallallahu promises you and I, man salla salat subah fil jama'ah, that person who will perform Fajr Salah in Jama'ah Yani, men for men In Jama'ah This person will be in protection of Allah Not even Mr. President will be so protected like you Why? Because you'll be protected with divine help Divine protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala So never miss Salah No matter what happens Never miss Salah Not because of your boss your boss, few days you stay with him, few months, few years. Thereafter, he will even chase you from your position, from your job. You might chase you also without doing nothing. 
where is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always is there with us. And on the day of Qiyamah, the day we die in Qabr, we will be in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not these bosses of ours in this dunya. If they tell you, don't go masjid, tell him, my boss, sorry, I can't disobey my Allah. La ta'a fil makhluq fi ma'asiyatil khaliq. There is no obedience in obeying makhluq, in obeying creation by disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is nothing like that. You don't disobey Allah to please someone who is created like you. And if you come to the masjid, Allah promises you, you want to become rich. You left your country so many years in South Africa, five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years, nothing is changing. You want to get rich, worship Allah, get time for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's ibadah. You want to be protected, you saying, South Africa, too much crooks, man, I can't walk nicely. Allah says, you perform Fajr Salah, you'll be protected. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ma for your time. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He might give us that heart to desire and talab, to have desire to make ibadah, to perform salah every time. Whenever it's salah, it's up, it's time, it's up. We are ready to perform salah. And we make need from now that from now onwards until the, die, the day I die, I will never leave out salah. Are we ready inshallah? Myself, inshallah, from now onwards, inshallah, we make this firm intention. Inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept it from us. Wa akhir dawana, alhamdulillah.